it's TJ. Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I will show you how to make a Minecraft server where your friends can join and play with you. It's very easy and you don't need access to your router. I will use a normal Minecraft server in this video, but this will work with other servers like Spygood, Bucket, Fabric or Forge as well. First, we will download the official Minecraft server from this website that is linked in the description. Then we copy this text here. In Ubuntu, we will create a shell script. I do this by right clicking the folder and choosing open terminal here. Then I write nano.start.sh and paste in the text we copied. Now we can change the maximum used RAM and we need to change this to the name of the server.jar. Save this file and in the terminal we can execute it with .start.sh. Note that you have to give permission to execute the file by right clicking properties and checking allow execution. In Windows we make a new text file, open it and paste the copy text in there. Then we can change the maximum RAM for the server and change this to the name of our server.jar. Now we click on file and save as and remove the .txt filter so we can save the file as a BAT file. Now we execute the BAT file by double clicking on it and the server should generate files. Now we should have a eula.txt and we need to accept it by opening it and setting eula to true. Now we save the file and start the server again. Now you should be able to join your server on localhost. Before we start with making the server public, please note that this will allow other stranger players to join as well. They might destroy your world, so you should set up a whitelist, back up your server, use protection mods or plugins and or use a password protection. If you want to learn more about this, you can watch this video here. In order to make your server public, so your friends can join your server, they need to establish a TCP connection to your computer. Your computer is not directly connected to the internet, it's part of a subnet made by your router. So all the traffic goes through your router and your PC is not actually visible from the outside. In order to do that, you would normally set up a port forwarding from your router to your PC. That means that all TCP traffic on a certain port that goes into your router will be redirected to your PC and your friends can join your server by connecting to the public IP of your router. This is the best way on how to set up a server. However, if you don't have access to your router because you still live with your parents or you are just a guest somewhere or you live in a student dorm or maybe you just have a shitty internet provider that doesn't give you access to your router, then you can do that. But there is an alternative now. You can establish a tunnel connection for TCP from your PC to a server on a certain port. Which means people connecting to the server will be communicating over the server with your computer. This sounds complicated, but it's actually very easy to set up. There are multiple programs to allow you to make such a tunnel connection. In this video, I will show you playit.gg and ngrok. We will start with playit.gg. All you need to do is to go to the website playit.gg and click on download. Then you download the file for your operating system. While it downloads the file, we will log in into the website. This is currently only possible with Discord. If you don't have Discord and don't want it, you can skip to the setup with ngrok. Once we have authenticated, we have to start the program we downloaded. It will automatically start a website. On this website we can click on Add Tunnel Connection for Minecraft Java. And we will get an IP that we can send to our friends. The cool thing is that this IP will not change, which is not the case with the free version of ngrok. Now you just have to start the program we downloaded on your computer and start the Minecraft server and your friends should be able to connect. Just remember to always start the program when you start the server. Ngrok is an alternative to play GG, 
with the disadvantage that you get a new random IP every time you start the server with the free version of ngrok. We need to sign up to ngrok and then download the program. After downloading, we will extract the file into the folder we want. For Linux, I'm opening the terminal and copying this command from the website. Paste it into the terminal and execute it by pressing enter. Then we will execute the command dot slash ngrok tcp minus region equals your region like EU or US and then the port, which is 25565. Press enter and you can copy the IP here and send it to your friends. Start the Minecraft server and they will be able to connect. On Windows, copy the authentication command without the first two symbols, double click the file that you extracted and allow Windows to execute it. Then paste the command into the terminal and press enter. Afterwards, we use the same command ngrok tcp minus region equals your region and the port 25565. This is the end of the video. I hope it will help you play with your friends. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.